This afternoon, hate crime charges were filed in the death of a 30-year-old man. The victim, Justin Peoples, was shot and killed at a Chevron gas station two weeks ago in Tracy. Now, prosecutors announced those new hate crime charges in addition to murder charges. And today, the San Joaquin County District Attorney's Office and Tracy Police have also revealed a third co-defendant in a hearing that was held this afternoon. We have KCRA3's Erin Half joining us. She's been at that hearing earlier today. She joins us live now from the Superior Court of California in San Joaquin County with the very latest and those latest charges coming sometime after the initial charges. Yeah, good evening, guys. Two co-defendants became three today. That third defendant charged with accessory after the fact. This story is still developing. It now involves hate crime charges. This all started with a murder at a gas station that killed 30-year-old Justin Peoples. That happened Tuesday night just after 9 o'clock. Peoples was shot and stabbed while at a Chevron. He survived the attack but died later that evening. The next morning in Stockton, two were arrested in the case, a Christina Lynn Gardner and Jeremy Wayne Jones, both charged with homicide and hate crime along with separate weapon charges. Now today, a third co-defendant, a man named Christopher Angelo Domenico. In the hearing, Domenico was said to have helped the others after the fact. In a separate meeting today, we spoke with the victim's family and the San Joaquin County DA who called this an unprovoked attack simply because the color of the victim's skin. The DA called this crime disgusting and reprehensible. No one should be a victim of a crime because of their race, ethnicity, nationality, sexual orientation, or faith. These types of crimes are reprehensible. This is where racism stops right here. Racism stops right here. Justice for Justin. The DA's office says that one of the defendants has mounting evidence to be in support of white supremacy, both in that defendant's tattoos and actions. Now, all three uh, co-defendants today were held without bail. They will be seen again on April 4th in Stockton. Aaron Heft, KCRA 3 News. A case we will definitely continue to yeah. follow. And Aaron, thank you.